Hello guys, welcome to Photoshop Tutorials. Subscribe to our channel for regular updates. Hello guys. In this tutorial we are gonna see how to bring up the cyan tone to our picture. Like how some famous Instagram photographers do. Let's get into the tutorial. The source files are given as a link in the description below. Now click on controller command, shift A. To open camera raw so we have to perform some basic exposure adjustments. The main thing you have to do in camera raw is to cut the shadows. And decrease the highlights to bring down all the overexposed areas. I'm decreasing the exposure a bit, since the skin is exposed. The main objective of adjusting the basic settings is to make the picture look like an even light portrait. So in this tutorial these are the most important steps, so please do watch carefully. We usually work on RGB mode in Photoshop, many might know this, some might not. Now we are gonna change the mode from RGB to lab for a short period of time, to apply the cyan tone on the image. Ok let's do. Click on the background layer. Go to image. Click on mode. Change the mode to lab color. Near the layer tab, you can see a channel tab, click on that. There you can see four different layers. Now we're basically gonna copy the data of layer A and paste it on layer B. Let's start. Select the layer A and click on controller command A. You can see the line running on the corner of the layer. Click on controller command C to copy the data of layer A. Select the layer B and click on controller command V. You can see the changes on the gray layer once you paste it. Now click on the lab layer to see the color changes. So after this we have to change the mode of the image from lab to RGB. So go to image. Click on mode. Click on RGB. So this process is done, now we can do our normal workflow to bring this picture to be a beautiful one. Select the background layer and click on controller command J to duplicate a layer. Opening a new selective colors adjustment layer to turn the whites in the background to cyan. By selecting the whites on the selective color adjustment layer, let's adjust and form cyan at the background. Ok this is fine. Opening a new channel mixer adjustment layer to tone the overall picture. Just adjusting the bars to get a better result. Ok we'll fix with this. Now let's do some local dodge and burn. Open a new layer. Let's rename this layer as local dodge and burn. Click on Shift, F5. On the dialog box select Contents option and click on 50% Gray, Blending Mode Normal and Opacity 100%. Hit on OK. Turn the Gray Layer Blending Mode to Soft Light. Select the Brush tool, Masking Colors Black and White. Brush Setting Opacity 100%, Flow 1% or Changeable accordingly. Now select White and start dodging the subject. Only highlight the areas where you see lights on the subject. Once you're done with the dodge, select black and start burning. Burn only the areas where you see shadows. A tip for the beginners. If you're in the starting stage of learning to dodge and burn, you can use two gray layers, one for dodge and one for burn. If you're a pro then you can go with a single layer. See that you cover all the areas in a subject. The more time you take the more effective output you will get. Ok let me speed up this process. Ok guys we are done with the local dodge and burn.
Now let's move on to separation of the subject from the background. Open a new level adjustment layer. Increase shadows a bit. Now select the brush tool and start brushing out the subject from the dark using a layer mask. Ok we are done with this step. Ok, now let's add some leaves around the subject. Bringing the PNG leaves layer and selecting the leaves with the lasso tool. Let's spread it around the subject. Let's add some more leaves. Let's spread it around the subject. Ok let's change the leaves color to cyan. Opening hues saturation adjustment layer and adjusting the hues till we match our cyan color. Clip the hues layer to the leaves layer. By right clicking on the hues layer and select the option clip. So the color changes only affect the leaves. Ok this is fine. Merge the hues and leaves layer by clicking on controller command E. Now let's add some blur effect to the leaves layer. Select the leaves layer, go to filter, blur, motion blur. You can adjust the blur direction angle to make an effect like the leaves are falling from a certain direction. Hit on OK once you're done. Decreasing the opacity to look natural. Let's darken the background a bit. Open a new layer. Select on the brush tool in black color. Brush settings, opacity 100%. Flow 20% or changeable accordingly. Start brushing around the subject to form a darker feel. Let's add some more leaves. Like it's near the camera. Bringing the leaves and placing it on the corners so it doesn't disturb the subject. Opening a hues adjustment layer to change the colors of the leaves. Once the color change is done, Select the leaves layer and go to filter. Blur gallery. Field blur. Blur the leaves accordingly to form a blur effect. Hit on OK once done. This is looking odd actually so let's brush it out using a layer mask to make it natural. Ok this is fine. Let's move on to the final image tone boosting process. 
Select the topmost layer and click on Controller Command, Shift, Alt, E to merge all the below layers to form a new layer. The final color grading plays a major role of fine-tuning a picture. Most of the professionals will bring up their personal touch using this final tuning process. Ok now let's get into it. Now click on Controller Command, Shift A to open Camera Raw. Let's now boost up the image using Camera Raw. Adjusting the basic settings to see whether this will bring up something better. Moving on to curves to brighten the highlights and increasing the shadows to form a depth. Let's go to split toning which creates the final tone of the image, I'm looking for a reddish green color. Ok this is fine for me. Hit on ok, once you're done. We've come to the end of this tutorial, if you have any doubts you can ask them on the comments section below. Hope this tutorial was useful, hit on the like button if you like this video, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for regular updates.